so our company, Mode of Space Systems, uh, in Pasadena, California, so just a few miles from JPL, um, is basically a, a space robotics uh, provider. And uh, we do motion control. So basically, if it moves on a spacecraft or a, a rover, that's something that we can do. That's what we're good at. One of the things that we've engaged in recently um, with partners JPL again um, is a cryogenic robotic arm that can operate on the moon throughout the night, survive the night, and then operate through the lunar night. And so in order to do that, um, you have to incorporate some technologies that can operate at like minus 180 degrees Celsius. It's a big accomplishment uh, to be a part of those teams, uh, to, to bring those systems together because they're complicated and significant programs that involve thousands and thousands of people to make those things go. And, and usually when you see those uh, missions, you know, it started sometimes 10 or 15 years ago as a concept and it finally matured to the point where somebody said, OK, we can, we can actually do it. The technology is there and to be a part of that journey is, is very exciting. You know, robotics affects us every day, whether, whether we know it or not. I mean, we've been utilizing it, you know, outside of space, uh, you know, our, our automobile manufacturing plants, our, our processing for pharmaceuticals, um, things in warehouses, like uh, anything that you use for your distribution, like the big, like your Amazons and so forth, who, who make huge uh, distribution networks for us, utilize robotics within their warehouses. And, and so those things are really more and more critical to our daily lives. We depend on them <clears throat> because we do care about, yeah, I do want this on-demand service and I, I want things to show up tomorrow. And, um, and then I want to be able to build things uh, precisely um, over and over again. And so, um, so robotics as a whole uh, definitely influences us. We're hopeful that some of the technology that, that comes out of this, this development for cold arm um, and um, as it's demonstrated on the moon in a few years, that that becomes technology that can be infused into a, a whole array of the Artemis program.